the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. His guys take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now, the ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. And as we said, they control their own destiny now. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one covers 29 yards, first down. Our eyes and attention are on the fullback. Big time carry, big yardage. But how about the guys up front, the offensive line? A lot of people think they may have to block it differently for the fullback to get big yardage. They really don't. Because he's big, strong, and powerful, a lot of times he makes his own way. They may not have to block as hard. And a missed tackle there as he pushes forward for a gain of four. He's brought down. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to the feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That Got a man, it's caught at the six-yard line. Well, that certainly changes things here because they're in field goal range already, but a field goal, that's not what they're looking for now, not after that big play right here in overtime. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. This defense against the run, by the way, they're not top five, but they are top ten. So what's your philosophy here? Do you try and run the ball against a team that's pretty good against the run? What if you're a pretty good running team? If so, you might want to go ahead and run it anyway because that's your strength. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. Two minutes left in this overtime session and still all time. And a stoppage here, a timeout before this third down play takes place. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. Another chance to maybe end it right here. This is third and goal. They'll look to throw. Eluding the press. And this will be caught. Touchdown. They needed overtime to get it done, but put this one in the win column. Partner, a great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters, <laughs> what you wanted. But how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we got the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So for the home team here, they climb back to 500 now at three up and three down. And they will hit the road next.